As we are all well aware, Sri Lanka will head for the polls next year to select a new leader or to ratify the old. Whatever is said and done, the next president has the arduous task of bringing Sri Lanka out of this crisis. As we have uh, learned and understood, one person alone cannot do it. It must be a nationwide attempt to get this country back on track. But who will lead us? Who will inspire us to rise above the challenges and unite us towards a common goal? We need a leader who can ignite the flames of hope. A leader who can bring out the best in every citizen. We need a leader who can inspire an entire nation, who can inspire the very citizens of our nation who are leaving in record numbers to stay and fight for a better future here in Sri Lanka. After all, the grass is green where you water it. Throughout Sri Lanka's history, great leaders have emerged in times of adversity. They found strength in unity and turned moments of despair into opportunities for growth. Today, we need a leader who can do the same again for Sri Lanka. But let's not forget, as citizens, we too have a role to play. We must come together, shoulder to shoulder, to rebuild our economy, to invest in our future. It's not just the duty of the government or a single leader. It's our collective responsibility. Let's remember that change begins with us in our homes, our workplace, our communities. Like the great Mahatma Gandhi said, let's be the change you wish to see in the world. To share your waves, suggestions and thoughts, do get in touch with us as we would like to hear from you. You can write to us about anything you saw on the program. You agree, disagree, please send us your comments to stateofthenation at derana.lk.